You worried at all about your team having some kind of a letdown maybe this week, like sometimes you see happen? No, I felt like that, it, you know, we would come in and, and um, you know, we felt like we need to come in and dominate a game, which, you know, we felt like we could. And um, I thought we did that tonight. I thought we, from start to finish, I felt like we dominated the line of scrimmage, especially up front offensively. And, and I thought our defense got better this week. Still gave up some big plays, which, you know, but, but again, I think we're improving every week with a very young defense. And I think we're getting better, you know, and, and uh, if we'll continue to play like we're playing right now. I think we have a real chance to, uh, I think we have a, a real chance to, to make a run down here at the end. But too, for a guy like um, Ben McLaughlin to come back and be part of six touchdowns again today and just, you know, seem to not really be affected by what happened last week, which I know he took really hard. It was just another day at the office for Ben. You know, that's the way it was. He just came out here, took advantage of what they gave us, and and I thought he managed the game extremely well. That's what he does. He's a he's an extremely poised, smart guy that that doesn't make bad decisions. And, and it sounds cliche now because we said every week about him, but he's that kind of quarterback. And he just comes in and and again he he makes suggestions. He came in had a great suggestion at halftime. It was a big play in the second half for us. So he just a He's a, he's a brilliant guy that's going to become a great coach. Darnell Williams made a couple of big plays in the first half, the, the long kick return, the long you know pass for a, for a touchdown. He just continues to make huge plays for you. Yeah, I mean, he's a weapon. And, you know, it takes a lot of pressure off Jordan Rito to have guys like that on, out on the edge. And, um, you know, he's, he's just a phenomenal player. We're glad he's on our team. I'd hate to have to, have to defend him. I know that. So in the second half, you were able to run the ball a little bit more. Um, I know you had well over 100 yards. Bartholomew had over 100 yards rushing. Along with that, you, you definitely won the battle of time possession. How much is that important towards helping that defense to improve to be well, able to you, do that? You know, because we can run the football, it, it does help our defense, keeps them off the field, gets them rested. And, and if we can control the football, make, you know, we're a big play, fast break offense. But, you know, when we can make first downs and control the clock, too, that really – you know, helps us at, at this stage, you know, to keep, help our young defense continue to grow up. I thought you saw a little bit of a glimpse of the future there in the end with Dorsey coming in at quarterback. Yeah, I thought he made some some nice plays. You know, we weren't down at the end. You know, we weren't trying to be low class by scoring there at the end. We were going to kneel on it, and Buck came down and said, at the end, if it's if it's close, they're going to talk about points. So that's why we that's why we got the late touchdown. It wasn't in any way a slap in their face trying to rub anything in their nose. And I, you know, I, I hate it because it looked that way. But you know, unfortunately, in this game, we you know we have to do what it takes to you know to have an opportunity to give ourselves a chance to get in the playoffs there. You know, week ten. Final question. Next week is homecoming. You got Howard Payne coming in. Um, you know, it's always a, a fun week for the fans, and sometimes always not. Not the most fun week for coaches with some of those distractions, right? Well, our guys always play well on homecoming, and, and again, they know we're playing a very potent Howard Payne team. We, you know, went to three overtimes with them last year, so you know, it, it'll be a great week, exciting week, and and uh, we just need to continue to get better, and I think we will. You know, I think our guys are are, are mature enough to handle the the distractions during the week, and and again, I think we'll be okay.